Here in this video, I will demonstrate the method of implanting a preloaded multi-piece IOL manufactured by Aurolab India. This is the case of a posterior capsule rupture operated by us around 12 days ago. An anterior vitrectomy was already performed in this case. You will notice how easily the initial incisions have been opened just by using a blunt instrument. We penetrate from the side port and inject a dilator drop to make sure that the pupil does not constrict during the procedure. We just make sure that we don't push it very hard thus to dislodge more vitreous coming into the anterior chamber though the vitrectomy has been performed in this case. Then we load a 27 gauge blunt cannula onto the viscoelastic and very slowly and gradually inject some viscoelastic just behind the iris to separate the iris and create a plane between the anterior capsule excess margin and the posterior surface of the iris. We will see that again in slow motion. This injection of viscoelastic has to be as gentle as possible just to make sure that we don't have any viscoelastic getting into the vitreous because of the opening in the posterior capsule. This may lead to some reactions, delayed reactions in the vitreous. Then we enlarge the wound to approximately 3.2 mm because in this particular technique we do not use the wound assist technique but we have to insert the cartridge tip inside the wound so as to negotiate the haptic behind the iris. Now just before we get the cartridge loaded we inject some more viscoelastic under the iris but we make sure that we do not touch the posterior surface of the iris because that might cause constriction of the pupil which you did notice in this particular case. Now to go for the details of the loading of the cartridge. Now this cartridge comes with a preloaded lens. There is a port opening where you inject the viscoelastic or put viscoelastic there. Put enough viscoelastic in the port so that it travels into the tunnel of the cartridge. There is a lock available on the preloaded IOL. We have to pinch this lock to remove it and expose the IOL. You will notice now we inject some viscoelastic into these given ports. This has to be done gently without dislodging the haptic or the IOL in its play, from its place. Once the viscoelastic has been placed, we pinch the lock over the cartridge wings and slowly remove the lock. Having done that, we close the wings of the cartridge. Sometimes these wings may not close easily and they might need some pressure to be exerted. After that is done, we remove the cap on the cartridge. Now having done that, at times we make sure we put some viscoelastic into the cartridge tunnel so as to facilitate the travel of the cartridge and the loop into the cartridge. We have to make sure that the trailing loop of the cartridge still stands out of the cartridge and slowly gently inject the cartridge plunger and see the loop coming out of the tunnel in a straight manner. So just for repetition, I will demonstrate loading of another IOL. Same steps are repeated. Pinching to remove the lock over the wings of the cartridge. Now locking the cartridge wings. Now in this case you will see it does not close so easily. So sometimes we may need to put more pressure to close it. Once this is done, now we make sure that the trailing loop is still outside the cartridge and then we pull the cap on the cartridge tunnel. Once this is done, we slowly push the plunger and see the loop coming straight out of the cartridge tunnel. Now we enter the wound straight inside the wound with the bevel downwards and once we are in, we slowly turn our hand in the clockwise direction and making the bevel face left side and we start injecting. We make sure that the leading loop is coming behind the iris and we keep injecting till nearly half the optic has opened. Once that is done so, we start rotating our hand in the anti-clockwise direction. We slowly withdraw the cartridge out of the wound. This leaves the trailing haptic outside the wound which now can be dialed very very comfortably into the eye in just the position behind the iris. 
you can do the same step using a macpherson forceps also making sure that both the haptics have been opened in the sulcus and the aisle is well centered all we need to do is instill a meiotic drop which just constricts the pupil on top of the aisle and they just go in and with a simco cannula with a low bottle height of approximately 60 cm aspirate any viscoelastic which is there in the anterior chamber and as you remember we have used a very small amount of viscoelastic with the 27 gauge behind the iris so the amount of viscoelastic which may have leaked into the vitreous is very very minimal and the chances of you having any kind of inflammation or inflammatory reaction in the vitreous is barely in a very very rare incidence after that we may suture the wound right in the middle and hydrate the side port and there we see that the aisle is beautifully centered with the round pupil thank you